Just like the general community, geologists love gold. We spend a huge amount of time understand, trying to understand how it's formed and how to find more of it. And this is a relatively simple breakdown, but it shows you that there's fundamentally we categorise gold into four major types of, of how it's formed and where you find it. So we have uh, reduced intrusion-related gold deposits, oxidised intrusion-related gold deposits, and then we have this catch-all that fits everything else. And um, it's important for us to try to understand these because by understanding how gold is formed and where it's formed, it helps us to explore for it and find more gold so that we can add it to our production history or production record into each year. But these are the four key classes of gold deposit. And this is a, a schematic diagram which is really just there to show you that it's quite a complicated process. And the mo one of the important things to show you there is the, the left hand scale which is um, the, the depth below the ground surface. So at the top of the plot there you've got what we the, the ground surface and we're going down 10 kilometres. So right now we've got gold deposits forming in the world somewhere and they could be forming at 1 kilometre depth, 5 kilometres depth or 10 kilometres depth depending on the type of gold that's being produced and, and the type of process that's working underground at any one time. And so, uh, again, this, this is really just to give you a sense that there's a lot of thinking, there's a lot of work going on to try to understand how gold forms, where it forms, and how to find it. Um, and, uh, yeah, this is really, the, the, for me, this is the, the exciting part of my job in terms of trying to understand uh, and then go and explore for gold. In terms of... Uh, the type of gold deposits, the first class is an orogenic gold deposit, and these are gold deposits which um, you can see a picture there, they're, they're formed in the way that it talks about the way they're formed there. There's some particular deposits, you've got Norseman, uh, Bendigo, Alaska, Homestake, some of them, the names you might be familiar to you, but these are all very, very large, very major or, uh, gold deposits around the world. Again, I'm not expecting you to understand this. I really just want to highlight the fact that it's quite a complicated process. We have reduced intrusion-related gold deposits, and geologists spend a substantial amount of time trying to understand the physical, the chemical uh, processes that, that lead to these sorts of deposits being produced. Um, Oxidised intrusion-related um, gold deposits, and the, only, the key one here that I would draw your attention to is much of the gold that's produced each year is gold that's, in, that's uh, carried in association with copper. And you see the first of the examples there, gold-rich porphyry examples. Grasberg uh, is a, one of the classic uh, gold, copper, porphyry deposits in the world. It's one of a huge deposit. And the gold that's produced is, a, is very large because the company is really a <coughs> copper miner but gets substantial credits from the gold. And so the gold is being carried with the copper. And uh, that's one of the, the, the major sources of gold in the, in the uh, current 10 or the past 10 years or so. And other deposits, um, and the one there that I'll draw you to, you, most of you may know that South Africa has been a, a powerhouse with respect to gold production. Most of that's come from the Witswatersrand area, which is a, 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 a what we call a placer deposit, which uh, has been uh, subsequently pre uh, formed and then buried, and now that's up to 5,000 metres below the surface, and, uh, and that's been a, a major source of gold from South Africa. We love, we all love collecting, or geologists all love collecting samples. This just gives you an idea of what gold looks like in its, in its native form. Uh, you can see there that on the left hand side a, a piece of quartz which is the white and then the gold nuggets sitting in there. On the right hand side the same, you've got some gold tied up in, in quartz veins there.